Hey guys, what's up? This is Shannon here. I'm uh, gonna give you a quick rundown of some drills that you can do if you have a low ammo count because of the current ammo shortage and you wanna get some great training in, but you don't wanna shoot a lot of your rounds. So I'm gonna give you a, uh, a 25 round training regimen that you can follow. You can do it slow, you can do it fast, you can do as many dry rounds, repetitions as you would like to also extend the training. If you have more rounds to shoot, you can shoot more rounds. You could double up this training session um, or you could also shoot more between each reload. All right, let me just talk about my equipment setup real quick. Uh, I'm using a, I, I'm traveling right now. I didn't travel with my firearm, so I'm using some borrowed equipment. I do actually have a uh, Smith & Wesson shield right here at the appendix position. I do own a shield, but this one has a different uh, sight setup. So let me talk about what we're doing. I've got a seven round mag in here. I have a pocket reload with an eight round extended magazine and then I have for my third reload a eight round uh, magazine that I'm going to be able to use uh, with this so if you see here I've got my standard cardboard paper set up and we have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper if you see here that really closely replicates the size of the uh, thoracic cavity of a human all right so you don't need any special targets you don't need to go get anything in particular that look really cool with those zombies on it and stuff like that just get an eight and a half 11 sheet by, uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper it can have lines on it whatever if you want to draw a cool zombie on there go ahead and you can shoot that zombie right in the head but this is a great way to train and you don't need any special equipment all right so we're going to get started let me talk about this real quick first round is going to be cold i have not fired today all right it's going to be a uh, a single shot from concealment and then I'll, I'll kind of explain what I'm gonna do from there. All right, so uh, first round, I'm right here at the five yard line. All right. All right guys, so, that's good. Where's the camera, there's the camera. All right guys, so the next round, we're gonna do four bursts at position three. This is high compress ready, and we're gonna do two rounds on each burst, but they're gonna be at a controlled pace going for marksmanship accuracy. So I'm trying to put these shots in the same hole. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and work that. This is gonna be about eight shots. After the fourth one, we're gonna have a emergency reload. We're gonna get that pocket reload. All right, here we go, guys. kind of low all right so I actually fell into a common training scar all right my first shot was here and instead of going for the center mass of that paper my brain said hey I got to chase that group and I wanted those sm that small group so since my first shot was right here I made that group around there honestly I should have brought it up a little bit and just started shooting here and then my group would have probably been more centered hey but overall if this was a guy and I'm practicing uh, shooting actually for self-defense purposes this is gonna be okay, all right? Uh, we're not worried about shooting, you know, super, super, super tight for self-defense purposes. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and work some dry rounds here, all right? So I'm gonna work some dry rounds because I wanna make this ammo last and I want to uh, reinforce the fundamentals. We're gonna get 10 draws from concealment with the target from the front. Then we're gonna do three with a pivoting draw, target to the left, three pivoting draw target to the right and three pivoting draw target to the rear no firing just working that dry round uh dry rep to get that uh good fundamentals built up all right so here we go 10 rounds from concealment no firing or 10 draws from concealment no firing what you're trying to do is pick up that front sight All right, focusing on a good solid grip, making sure that you have your finger index along the slide so that you're not gonna get that firing by negligence. All right, so I'm going for good fundamental here, getting a good 
elbow shield as I draw that gun out. I believe that's number four or five. I'm gonna call this five. All right, so I'm about halfway done here. Make sure that when you draw that gun, guys, go at the speed that you can safely do so. But as I'm going into this position too, I should have a final firing grip with a good, uh, a good grip on this gun right here. Finger index ready to receive the pistol at position three and then punching out position four and finding that front sight. All right, I'm gonna call that six. I'm kind of losing count here, but we'll call this one seven. All right, so we got a couple more. like eight or nine, let's call it eight because I like to get that extra rep. I'm never gonna count my rep high. I would rather count my rep low so that I get one more. All right, so there's about 10 draws from concealment with the target from the front. I'm gonna do three from the left. The thing I'm gonna focus on is making sure that I turn my eyes first, assess, and then decide to go for that threat right there. Doing a slight step on this, just getting off that center line a little bit. You can do that or you can pivot in place, right? It's up to you. Just make sure you turn your eyes first so that you're assessing the threat. All right, now I can get three from the right. solid platform every time, right? We want a good fight stance whenever we turn in, all right? We do not want to have like a, a competition shooting stance because anytime you're drawing your gun to gunfight or self-defense, you're gonna probably be in a regular fight as well, hand-to-hand, -hand wrestling, dealing with weapons, um, all that stuff. So I need a good solid base, right? So make sure you get a good stance when you turn, guys. Now I'm gonna do it from the rear. Make sure your eyes assess. Get both eyes on the target first. Sure, I, I hesitated there because I wasn't sure what my rep was. Let me do three more good reps, all right? Turn over the left shoulder, the right shoulder. Let me get one more. All right, guys, so. We are on our second mag. There are eight rounds that I'm gonna fire in this in this uh, sequence. I'm gonna do one uh, from the front from concealment, one from the left, one from the right, one from the rear. I'm gonna be firing two rounds, all right? This is our standard defensive response, all right? Meaning that I'm gonna fire two rounds into that threat as quickly as I can safely make the hits because I don't want my rounds going off random places. I'm liable for every round that comes out of my gun in a self-defense situation. So you gotta make sure you hit that target, but just go for that, that thoracic cavity size. All right, so we're gonna get ours from the front, two rounds. Here we go, about the five yard line. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and change my grouping. I'm gonna shoot more towards the center of the paper, so I'm not following that grouping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it back more toward the center. All right, here we go. trigger resets all right three if you have three shots you have four trigger resets don't just slap that trigger and forget about it all right now we're going two shots to the left standard defensive response is going to go empty, going to get that second emergency reload practice from the pocket. All right guys, because I'm running on a limited magazine capacity here, I'm going to go ahead and reholster because now for my third magazine, 
I need enough for two eight round bursts or two, I'm sorry, four round bursts is gonna be our uh, drive down response. I'm gonna shoot four shots at once. So I needed to go ahead and do an administrative reload just because of the way my magazines are set up so that I can get that in, all right? And so that I can see my shots, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this paper with a new one. Let's go ahead and follow up here. Let's see what I shot with that. All right, yeah, pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with that. That's, a, that's good enough for some defensive shooting applications. All right, so let me go ahead and take a minute here, put this uh, new page up here so I can really see what my drive down responses are doing. Just give me a minute here. Guys, make sure that when you are shooting, you're trying to replicate your context as much as possible. Meaning that if you're shooting for competition, you wanna get that shot timer on and get that really sh really quick split times and, and you wanna get them all in that same little hole, that's awesome. That's a great skill to master. That's fun. You guys can do that. But if you're going for defensive shooting, you really don't need the group to be like quarter size. You need the group to be like literally the size of this paper so you get that maximum threat stopping capability. All right, if you really think about it, the uh, organs are spread out. They're not just in one spot. So if you're trying to do it for defensive purposes, Make sure that that group is kind of spread out, all right? And based on statistics and, and watching real life violent encounters, uh, it doesn't take one shot a lot of the times. On average, it might take three to four shots fired in rapid succession. We're looking more for like quarter second splits, maybe uh, as fast as you can get to that because you need to get four shots off sometimes within you know one to two seconds while that threat is happening. So this round, we're gonna focus on replicating a little bit of stress by creating some high heart rate, uh, by doing some exercise and some punches, and then we're gonna get that drive down response four shot center mass. All right guys, so I'm gonna go back to the five yard line for my first drive down response. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three burpees here in the dirt, then I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna throw five punches, I mean, I'm sorry, five seconds worth of punches, and then I'm gonna drive down response on that target four shots. All right, here we go. First rep, and it's gonna be from here at the five yard line. Ready, and three burpees. Five second punches. Threat. Right. Next rep, guys, we're just gonna walk up here, do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do a charger about five meters do a pivoting draw, making sure to turn my head first and shoot my last four. It's gonna go to slide lock and I'm gonna be done. 25 rounds. In the weeds, three burpees, go. Five seconds punches. <laughs> I'm out of magazines. I got that slide lock. I'm gonna go ahead, reholster it. Let's come up, check out my target here. So again, quarter second splits, five meters away. Looking pretty good. Everything's on the paper. I'm out of breath now, because I worked hard, I trained hard. You don't need to come to the range and shoot 100 rounds, 200 rounds. If you just wanna go out and plink targets, that's awesome. But if you're looking for effective training with only 25 rounds, this is how you do it. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you click like, subscribe, check out our future videos. If you would like to train with us in person or online, go to nomadkramaga.com. Thanks guys, we'll see you around. Ah!